This video examines ultrasound as a potential aerosol generating procedure. You can see outside the eye the aerosol and the mist formation. Notice the uh, water beads and formation of little water droplets on the surface on the sleeve outside the eye. When we look inside the eye, this is a 2.2 millimeter incision with a soft silicone sleeve. Using longitudinal fecal emulsification during the procedure, we see uh, no actually droplets on the surface of the uh, sleeve. Uh, there is some uh, fluid around the eye that we can see. However, from the actual fecal emulsification portion of it, as opposed to the irrigation or aspiration portion, we don't really see uh, the formation of these water beads or these mist formation. Uh, one may argue, of course, that there may not be visibility of the aerosol in the microscope view here. However, one would expect to see uh, some wetting uh, on the surface on the silicone sleeve uh, and the beading, as we have seen on previous videos done uh, in an in vitro design with cadaveric eyes. This in, in vivo example here does show, though, and you can see periodically going back and forth between position 0, 1, and then position 3 during FACO, even holding a wax cell near the incision. There really is no wetting of the wax cell. There's no evidence of water formation or uh, droplet formation. Uh, if there was aerosolization, we would expect to see uh, some wetting, some degree of wetting, some wax cell uptake of the uh, solution here, indicating some aerosolization. So I think uh, in this small little in vivo example here, using uh, fecal emulsification, longitudinal and torsional, uh, does not appear to be any obvious evidence of aerosol generation outside the eye.